Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm going to be talking about everything that I am excited for in Fortune Island. Now I know that I did my Fortune Island video yesterday, my kind of announcement uh, video on Fortune Island, and kind of going over it with you guys and talking about everything within the expansion itself, but in this video I wanted to be a little bit more relaxed and talk about what I'm personally excited about and what I think it's going to do for the series as a whole and talk about some of the speculation um, that people have been having around this expansion. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the bridges at the top of the map. And you guys know exactly what bridges I'm talking about. The bridges at the top of the map that go north. Now, those bridges I do not think will lead to the island, and I'll tell you why. One, because geographically it wouldn't really make sense, and two, the island itself has like islands themselves island expansions have always required some sort of fast travel so i think that it's much more likely that we'll see a fast travel gameplay mechanic used for fortune island just like we saw for storm island and blizzard mountain uh then using the bridges and somebody actually on reddit also made a very interesting point about those bridges and they were saying that if you cross the bridge if you cross if you use the bridges as part of the main map to cross into another area it would effectively, it could effectively make the play area too big to support the, basically the load um, that it would put on the game. Now, part of that I get, and part of that I feel like, I'm like, well, man, maybe, maybe not, but the bridges, I mean, if they were ever to be used, they would have to be used in such a way that you would drive halfway across the bridge, and then it would prompt a loading scene, and then, or a loading screen, and then it would load, and then it would spit you out in the new area. Or they could try to do something where it would still be a dynamic, dip, it would be a dynamic crossover, but you would still be crossing over into a separate map. I don't think they'll ever merge those into one map, because I feel like merging them all into one map would be um, such a massive load on everything that's already going on that I don't know if it would make the most sense for the game itself. Now, looking at the island, it, looking at the island itself and looking at how big of a part uh, weather plays in the entire expansion, I mean, this is totally based around weather. I mean, you guys saw in the trailer the lightning bolt striking the tree and all of that stuff. And I think that the, the weather brings up an interesting point, and the weather brings up an interesting point basically focused on the seasons. So, as the seasons change... Will we see different characteristics with, like, the weather and the lightning and, you know, and stuff like that? I mean, I'm sure we will because it, it also features the Aurora Borealis and everything like that. But I'm just starting to think right now, like, are we going to see lightning and snow at the same time? I mean, I feel like it would be a little weird. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be unheard of, but it would be a little bit different. It would be a little bit odd, and it would be something that we would have to kind of you know, get used to, so I'm curious as to how they're going to structure seasons within the weather that we're already going to see in Fortune Island, because Fortune Island is definitely, definitely a little bit more focused on, like I said in my previous video, um, it's focused on, like, you know, um, like, island weather, right, like, crazy rain and wind and thunder and lightning and all that kind of stuff, and I'm, like I said, very, very curious to see how they mix seasons uh, into that kind of mentality, and also, too, when they do mix seasons into it, does that mean that when it snows, that drift road is going to be covered up in snow? That's going to be a good question, because I feel like that would annoy a lot of people if their drift road gets covered up in snow. Now, to be fair, you could make a uh, an event, you know, you could make an event and then go in and set up your event with a specific season so you wouldn't have to deal with that. But if you're just kind of drifting around and having fun with your friends and you just want to just hit that drift road and it's winter time, it might be a little bit on the frustrating side if you have to deal with snow, you know, every time uh, winter comes around with that drift road. But you never know. Uh, th there, there's different things that they could do uh, to kind of figure out what exactly they want in terms, of, in, in terms of how to kind of, you know, structure the seasons in there with kind of, ba kind of balancing that, that visual aspect of seasons with making sure players don't get frustrated uh, with certain seasons making them feel like they have to dial back what they like to do in the game. Um, now, keep in mind, you can drift in the snow, no problem. I mean, I'm drifting in the snow right now in, in this um, in this drift-tuned uh, BMW M3, and basically, you know, drifting in the snow, it actually it makes it easier because it's a low-friction surface. It makes it a lot easier. You can really just, like, slide the car right along, and it makes 300-horsepower cars feel like 500-horsepower cars because, again, you're not dealing with a lot of friction here, so you're not dealing with a lot of grip. So that could also have a have a 
um, a bit of a say in you know whether or not they choose to do that. But I think what they might do is in regards to snow and stuff like that, they could have a little bit of snow at the bottom of the mountain and then like way up near the peak there could be more. I don't know. We'll have to see on that one because it's all speculation at this point. I do also know that I did not cover the release date in my first video. The, ga the uh, expansion is releasing on December the 13th and that honestly, that honestly makes like, it, it makes sense, but you also kind of start to feel like, huh, it's like, it's, it's one of those things where you're like, okay, so we've got a good bit of time before that expansion actually comes out. We've got about a month before the expansion comes out. And the weird thing about it is that, so you start to think about it and you're like, okay, we got a month before it comes out and how much are they going to tease between now and then? There's a lot of time there for them to tease stuff. I'm sure there'll be a stream about it because there usually is with these new Forza expansions and new releases and DLCs and stuff like that. There's usually always a stream of some kind where they give you a little bit more in-depth insight into uh, into what they're doing. But at the same time, at the same time, I'm not sure if it's going to be like one of those things where they do a big, massive, you know, like is this huge thing? Or if they just give little bits and pieces here and there and they eventually, um, they, you know, and then they eventually do like a, yay, it's out, and then they let, you know, they let us explore it. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, but whenever you think about it, you're like, yeah, I don't know, you kind of go back and forth. Now, they also say, they also say, you know, um, the largest, most extreme location. And it's interesting that they say the largest and most extreme location because with the way that's worded, it would imply that it's, 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 it's weird because some people were saying, you know, oh, is that like a typo of some sort? Because they're saying, oh, the largest and most, you know, whatever extreme location that they're like does that mean it's bigger than the base map no i don't think that that means it's bigger than the base map i think what they mean when they say the largest and most extreme location i i think that they're meaning in terms of expansions not in terms of locations in general because you know they've never added on a full full size location um as opposed to like an expansion pack i'm sure it's going to be larger then, like, say, for example, it could be larger than the Hot Wheels map. It could be larger than Blizzard Mountain because Blizzard Mountain was actually quite small. I remember Blizzard, Ma Blizzard Mountain being small. I remember it feeling small, actually, because you could get from, like, the top of Blizzard Mountain to the very bottom in, like, a few minutes. It did not take very long uh, to get from one end of that map to the other. So it wasn't actually all that big. It was cool. It was very it had all tons of verticality to it, um, but it wasn't actually all that big. The Hot Wheels expansion... Uh, being my personal favorite expansion to date, the Hot Wheels expansion was a good size, and of course the amount of verticality, you know, with the tracks really helped with that. It helped multiply, like, kind of multiply that that feeling of, you know, the space that you did have. So you kind of felt like, well, you know, it might not be the most space, but we're definitely making good use of it. And I'm hoping that that's what they do here in, um, in Fortune Island, because in Fortune Island, it looks like they're doing everything from beaches to mountaintop, like, cliffside roads, and they mentioned, actually, they mentioned that in the video. They're like, you know, perilous clifftop roads. So what do you need in order to have perilous clifftop roads? You have to have roads that get to the perilous clifftops. So it's one of those things where you have to think about it, and you're like, okay, so they have these clifftop roads and mountains and all these things, what are you using to get there exactly? Is it going to be like super steep, you know, and just like boom, you're already, you're there in like a minute and a half? Or is it going to be like a, a gradual thing that winds around a mountain, um, kind of like that drift road that we saw? Not totally, but kind of like that drift road that we saw. I, I really want to see a map of the expansion. I really, really do because I feel like seeing a map of the expansion would be, it would answer a lot of questions. It would really answer not only a lot of questions that I have, but a lot of questions that the community has because of the way this an, this announcement was presented and, and because of the way uh, the, the expansion itself was presented. And I think, like I said, seeing the map will answer a lot of our questions before moving forward into, um, into kind of any more speculation because a lot of the speculation, a lot of the speculation revolves around the bridges and... I honestly really, really, really don't think that the bridges are going to be part of it. I, I, I would be very surprised if the bridges are any part of it whatsoever. Because the bridges, like I said before in the beginning of the video, they it would not work with that expansion. I mean, it could, but I would be extremely surprised if they used them. I'd be insanely surprised if they used them, actually, because 
there'd be a lot of stuff they would have to add on besides just the expansion to make the bridges integral to the game itself. They would have to add a ton of new parts and, and pieces onto the main map as well as adding in the expansion. So I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with those bridges or if they will actually ever use them. I hope that they use them eventually, but I don't see them using them for this particular uh, Fortune Island expansion. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video, kind of catching up on all of the rumors and, uh, you know, little bits and pieces here and there about Fortune Island. And if you have anything you would like to discuss about it, make sure you leave it in the comments below, um, because I plan to make more videos uh, covering Fortune Island, especially when new info gets released. But, also, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you click that like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.